Hello everybody, Sam with Gameland Games here, and I am here today to do an unboxing of the final production copy of Tiny Epic Pirates and the expansion, Tiny Epic Pirates Curse of Amdiac. So without further ado, let's get into it. And we're going to go to Curse of Amdiac uh, last, so we'll do Tiny Epic Pirates first. All right couple things to note here. We do have that Spot IV logo, uh, and that looks great. We've even got it right there on that top. And then let's look on the back here. We have got the components listed. We've got a QR code that when we get a Watch It Play done, we'll have it linked to that. And all of the great juicy information about Tiny Epic Pirates right there on the back, as well as a great picture of gameplay. Okay, let's get into it. Let's see what's in the box. All right, starting off with the pirate code. So that is going to be our rule book. You can see on the back we've got some solo information, but we've got really nice glossy pages. Uh, this rule book really did turn out great. Another great component list with pictures to show you exactly what you've got in here. That looks wonderful. Okay, and then, ooh, deluxe content. The Crimson Silver Mini Expansion. Let's take a look at what comes inside this bag of fun. Okay, open it up. All right, first thing we get is we have some new solo material. So this is Red Mary. This is a solo pirate that deals specifically in her abilities with the Crimson Silver and Floating Fortresses. And then we've also got an additional normal solo pirate, Henry Kidd, so you can play any game with those. Uh, and then the Bloody Personality, which once again deals specifically with Crimson Silver, and then also Ruthless. So a ton more solo content for you solo gamers out there in this deluxe content. All right, and then we have our mini rules leaflet. It's got some information on how to play with it, as well as how to incorporate it into the solo mode. Gives you all the information that you need. And we have got our six deluxe crew members. So let's see if we can get in focus on those. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Nikki Knuckles, Isabel Surefire, Anila Bones, Sean Keystone, Ben Seaworthy, and Nando the Navigator. Really cool abilities on those deluxe crew members. I will tell you, when you add those into your game, you're going to be like, what? That's super cool. All right, and last but not least in the deluxe content, we've got the floating fortresses and the crimson silver cubes. And if you can't see, it may be hard to see with the camera, but there is like a metallic shine coming off of those for that crimson silver little... Uh, it just makes it, gives it that nice little sparkle. So these turned out great. We did have to work really hard with our manufacturer to try and find it. They initially told us we couldn't, but for you guys, we persevered and we got it done. All right. That is the deluxe content. And now let's dig into the normal content inside the box. Okay. First, we have our booty bag. So that is going to be the draw bag where you put all of your booty cubes when you're going plundering around the islands. Uh, it fits perfectly right inside your hand. Awesome. It's got the logo on there. All right, next we have got our main cards for the game. So these are going to be our captain cards, our crew cards, and our merchant cards. So we've got eight captains, all with unique art. And we've got a ton of crew members. And the cool thing about this game is that there's so much in it. We've got unique crew members with unique abilities, and all of these are unique crew members, unique art, names, abilities, so much replayability in there. And then we've got our merchant card deck for those merchant cards that will be sailing around the map. All right, and then we have our booty cubes right here, and these turned out great, very distinguishable, distinguishable colors. These are colorblind friendly, so it'll be very easy to see exactly what type of booty you have in your ship. All right, ooh, more wooden tokens with screen printing. Let's take a look. I'm just so excited to do this, guys. Like, this is, this is, it's so cool to be able to get this. All right, so looking at here, this is going to be going on your legend track, and then if you mutiny throughout the game, it flips, and you've got that blood splatter. Let's see if I can get that in focus. Look at that. Ooh, that blood splatter is so cool. 
We've got surefire tokens, deck hands, treasure chests. Oh, they all look great. I am telling you guys, these look amazing. Okay. I just can't wait for you guys to have this. We're still on track for an on-time delivery in March. I'll get to those last because save the best for last, you know? All right, we've got our exploration tokens. Cool thing is that these are pre-punched, so no punching necessary. Turned out great. And then we have got our order tokens here in all player colors, as well as our port tokens for the merchant ships. Let's take a look at those a little bit closer. And they come in each player color. So we've got red, blue, yellow, and black. All right. And then those that do have something I want to mention, do have nice rounded off corners. So those will fit perfectly if you've got the player mats uh, into those player mats, but as well as on your player card. Okay. An unlocked stretch goal, metal coins. Four metal coins are gonna come standard in every single box. And if you were one of those that got the add-on of the gold coins, you'll get an additional 52 of these, and they are so cool. I love the printing on those. And then also these dice. So we do have the skull dice, and the skull dice, I'm telling you guys, are incredible. But these are pretty cool. They are a blackish gray with a marbling effect and those gold pips. Oh, thing is, I, I love both the skull dice and I love these. I want to roll them both all at the same time. I'd love to be rolling six attack dice. <laughs> that would be amazing. Um, all right, and then we have got our larger cards here. So we have the market card. We have all of our island cards and our map cards. And these turned out really well. The colors on them really pop. Uh, when you start to play this, people are going to be walking by your table and be like, what is that? Because it looks so good. And then we have got your helm mat. And on the back, solo pirate. So that one is Captain Jack. And then we've got your legend mats, and on the back of those, some personalities for those solo pirates, like that one's greedy and fearless. All right, and last but not least, I know you guys are excited for this, and I'm excited to show you the ships, the plastic ships. Oh my goodness, the detailing on these is pretty incredible. So I'll show you this blue ship right here. So as you can see, we've got kind of that wood paneling We've got anchors, we've got cannons, we've got rails that come over, we've got the masthead. I mean, it looks so good. And we also have put the um, sails in a separate baggie. So these are removable sails. And the reason we've done this is so that you can store your game safely. But we have worked very hard with our manufacturer to make sure that as you put these sails on, that they fit in securely. So they're not gonna be falling off during the game but so that you can store your ships without worrying about them coming off and snapping inside the box. Now, some of you may wish to glue these. You are more than welcome to do that, but we want to make sure that you had a way to store them safely. So that looks really, really good. Okay, now let's move on and we'll do the Curse of Amdiac. And something I will note is the box size, because that is something that we had made a couple of changes from the initial campaign. So compared to the Tiny Epic Pirates box, it is the same length, but half the width. So these will look very good right next to each other on your shelf. Okay, let's break into this. See what's in this goodie box. All right, and then look at that Go Ship screen printing on the inside of that. Looks so cool. All right, starting off, we have got our urn tokens with them some great detailed screen printing on there. And we have got our cards. So these cards in here are going to be the cursed captain cards. So when you become cursed, you'll actually replace your captain card from the base game with this cursed captain card, which has some really cool art on there. And then we've got the ghost ship card and then our unique skeleton crew members. So once you become cursed, you can actually recruit these skeleton crew members. And once again, each of these are unique with unique abilities and unique illustrations. Super cool. We got Ernie, Lucky the Kid, Bonnie, Men, Boots, Bill and Bait. I love Bill and Bait. Bait is probably one of my favorite characters. He's great. Okay. Moving on, we have got our Ghost Wake tokens, once again, pre-punched, so no punching required once you get this box. 
And we have our cursed gold translucent cubes. We have got our the Ghost Pirates code. So this is going to be the rule book. Once again, goes over the components you have. Really nice, glossy, high quality pages. Goes through how to implement. There's your solo mode rules. So lots of good stuff in that rule book. And then we've got our cards here. This is once going to be, again, be more solo content and other content to add to your game. So you have Amdiak right here, and he will actually command the ghost ship when you play him in solo. He is the most difficult. This combination right here, Ghost Pirate Amdiak, is the most difficult combination to fight in the solo game. So those of you up for challenge. Okay, and then we've got our Cursed Island cards there. So those are looking great. And then finally, whoo! the ghost ship. All right. Now the detailing on this really, I know I keep saying it, but it's incredible because it continues to be true. Uh, we've really outdone ourselves with this game. It looks just so good. All right. Let's see if I can get this in focus for you. So the detailing on this, you can see, so we've intentionally put in like to kind of give the ship more of a tattered look. You've got little holes in there. Um, you've got broken rails. Uh, the ship kind of the sails kind of have some tattered look to them It just looks so so good You are going to be you are going to be afraid of this ghost ship as it patrols around the island when you add that into your game All right, that was it. I hope you guys are so excited to receive this I can't and the rest of our team cannot wait for you guys to get it We are still on track for a March delivery if you have questions throw them into the comments hit us up on social media Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.